Okay, so let's talk about YouTube and their copyright claim nonsense that's going on. It really has become disgusting and I'm going public about it. Joining the chorus of people on YouTube complaining about this because it's such a disgusting situation that just can't continue. So I like, I like making videos and some of the videos I like making are those that explore science fiction shows like Space 1999 and Star Trek. And I've got a whole lot of other videos that I'm uh, planning and preparing as well. And, uh, you know, in those videos, I use short clips from maybe TV series or, sh or movies. And I have them, they're heavily annotated and lots of my work around it. So there's slides around it, introducing things and talking about what's going on. And I like to talk about um, interesting things that have happened in the episodes or innovative things or groundbreaking things. Okay. And it's just something I like doing. So uh, there's two I've been working on there for Professor Bergman. Okay. For his speech in space 1999. Uh, where, he, where he takes a step back from war. And I find that was very interesting and very relevant for the modern world. Um, and a funny clip there, how to slap a Vulcan, that was pinged as well, but I, I appealed that and got around it. There's more clips down here where I'm working on um, William Wyndon's amazing acting in an episode of Star Trek. And I've, I've edited out the bits that were claimed and uploaded the video again, and other bits were claimed. And so I edited that and pulled out the bits that were claimed, and, and that was claimed. So you just can't win. As soon as you as soon as you remove the offending parts of the clip, YouTube picks on other parts of the clip that weren't a problem before. So it's just a slippery slope and a disgusting situation. But let me show you what's happening with this this one. Okay, I'll just show you as an example, and we'll hop in here and have a look at the copyright claim, see details. Okay, and it's this short section of the clip. So the rest of the video is all my my work, and there's a couple of short clips here. And then this is Professor Bergman's speech. And this is what YouTube have a problem with. Okay, I'm not allowed to use his speech. And if I play the video... You have three minutes, Professor. Thank you, Paul. Recording now. Okay, so that's Professor Bergman's speech. I won't play any more because this will be pinged for copyright. What nonsense. So my whole video, you know, uh, six minutes of work and, and descriptions and setting the scene, I've come to this speech and I'll just play a short speech and then I'll talk about what it means and how amazing it was. So the vast bulk of the video is my work with a couple of short clips in there and Professor Bergman's speech. And they ping the speech for copyright. Okay, so what do I do? I edit the video. So that's the, that's the original one that had Professor Bergman's speech in it. So I edit the video and I um, voice narrate the scene. Okay, so I read the speech using my own voice. So? You have three minutes, Professor. Thank you, Paul. Recording now. Um, we are mankind. We came from planet Earth. Okay, so that's my voice you hear. And YouTube have pinged this for copyright. So they're, they're, they're saying I can't even use my own voice. What? This is just ridiculous. This has got way, way, way out of hand. If you're making a documentary and you're using short clips and you, and you are encouraging um, people to buy the DVDs and support the copyright owners and creators, and if you are doing stuff that's transformative uh, for, re for commentary or review or critique or comparison or education or documentary or parody or comedy or any of the other allowed fair uses. And if you only use short clips, a small fraction of the overall work, and you support the original creators, in other words, you encourage people to buy the DVDs or whatever, then that's the very definition of fair use. And, and my videos, certainly this video and this video, and my other videos down here which are being pinged, oops, let me just scroll down, where I, just, where I talk about William Wyndon's amazing acting, all got copyright claims and like I said the the, the clips that were in the, the scene is infringing here I deleted and then I uploaded the video again and other clips were pinged and then I deleted those and other clips were pinged you know and I, I got down to so I was only using a small fraction of the video or whatever it was just ridiculous just ridiculous what's going on um, you know so a, a, a video that might take you know a couple of hours of work a couple of hours of research and work and, uh, and editing 
you then upload it, then you've got to fight through hours and hours and hours of this copyright nonsense and then wait 30 days for them to give you your their, their answer as to whether you succeed or not. And lots of my other clips down here, they, they, these two here were pinged for copyright as well. There's none there now because I've appealed on one. Um, these clips down here, they, they, this clip here was a ping for copyright and I appealed on one. But you can't go on fighting forever. This YouTube copyright nonsense where fair use videos and content is being pinged for copyright infringement, this has to stop. This has to stop. I hope some lawyer takes on YouTube and, uh, and, 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 and beats them in court and they get a massive fine for enforcing this draconian garbage policy. Okay. Yes, if people upload stuff that's copyrighted, delete their channel, ping them. But if people upload short clips, which is very clearly fair use, and it's documentary, commentary, review, comparison, education, or whatever, that's very clearly fair use. And if there are any short clips are used in a small fraction of the overall work, and they're supporting the original creators by saying buy the DVDs and whatever, then that's the definition of fair use, and YouTube don't have a leg to stand on. Someone's got to slap YouTube down about this. Google and YouTube, you know, this has to stop. You're killing people. You're just you're destroying people. You're destroying you're destroying their need to be their, their their desire to be creative. Okay. Anyway, while we're on while we're on the subject here, you can you can scroll down my videos and you can see the likes and dislikes. <laughs> this one here, where I talk about GameStop, and uh, you know, warn, um, there's a few videos where I'm warning people about going into the FOMOing in and throwing their money in when stocks are going sky high because it's dangerous. I've got a couple of videos there. Look at all the dislikes. People don't even watch it and they just click the dislike button. Ah, oh dear. You know, that's also soul-destroying. But anyway, that's a, that's a, that's a video for another time. It's... Anyway, just to summarise, YouTube, change your policies or I hope some lawyer takes you on and sues you and, and, makes you, and gets, you, gets, gets, you, gets a massive fine. You know, if there's any class action going, I'll join it straight away. Righto. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Good luck.